Hi, my name is Marie Warner. I'm one of the physician partners at Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey. Single embryo transfer implies that we're taking just one embryo in an IVF cycle and transferring it back to the woman's uterus. In this way, we give patients a really good chance at pregnancy, but we decrease obstetrical risk factors that can be associated with twins or multifetal gestation. You're not wrong to think that two embryos might be more successful than one. Of course, it's sort of like gambling with better odds. You have two shots instead of just one. But technology has come a long way. Um, I like to use my sister-in-law as my favorite example because her daughter is now 12 and she had a three embryo transfer, which would be like a multiple embryo transfer. And thankfully, we don't have to practice that way anymore because our science has become so advanced that we can actually transfer just one embryo at a time and get the same, potentially even better pregnancy rates by knowing more about the embryo before transfer. So when you're transferring an embryo, maybe talk about 10, 12 years ago, um, we didn't have the opportunity to do genetic testing on the embryo. And because of that, we would transfer more than one embryo to try to increase the chance of success in pregnancy outcomes. Now with the advent of routine pre-implantation pre genetic testing for aneuploidy screening, we are able to select the best embryo that we know is genetically normal. So we can put just one embryo back to the uterus at a time. And that affords the same pregnancy rate as transferring two unscreened embryos. I like to think about the two extremes. You can take your young patient who may have many embryos to transfer. And in that patient, I think single embryo transfer is really the best path forward because we really truly lower their obstetrical risk factors when we only put one embryo back at a time. Fast forward to an older patient that might wanna put more embryos back to their uterus because of a higher chance of pregnancy and maybe a shorter timeline where they can truly conceive without increasing risk factors because of age. But even in that patient, I think it's most important in that patient to transfer just one at a time again, because they are probably the highest risk for obstetrical complications, things like high blood pressure and pregnancy, diabetes, all of these things become more common if you transfer two at a time or more than that in comparison to one. So we really just wanna to stick to one at a time in, in all subgroups.